and welcome back to Atreyu News. Uh oh, the US has upgraded its nukes and it could lead to war. The US has upgraded the effectiveness <clears throat> of the Trident D5 submarine based nuclear missiles, and experts say Russia may be spooked enough to deploy and possibly use countermeasures. From Yahoo. A recent report from the Bulletin of Atomic Scientist details how the U.S. massively upgraded the lethality of its submarine-based nuclear missiles, and U.S. adversaries like Russia may be spooked to the point of considering countermeasures. Essentially, the U.S. latest updates to its Trident missile aboard U.S. Navy submarines ensures that each and every single missile will explode at a price at precisely the right moment to devastate any target. Because of this new super fuse or timing element, the U.S. submarine launched ballistic missile fleet has tripled its destructive potential according to the report. This is important because U.S. military planners previously only relied on submarine launch missiles to strike soft targets like military bases. Now these missiles can be used to wipe out Russia's nuke buried deep underground. Because of improvements in the killing power of the United States submarine launch ballistic missiles, those submarines now patrol with more than three times the number of warheads needed to destroy the entire fleet of the Russian land base missile in their silos, wrote Hans M. Christensen, Matthew McKenzie, and Theodore A. Postel, the authors of the report. But the U.S. has even bigger nukes which sit in missile silos underground as ICBMs. Historically, these missiles would have been used for destroying Russia's ICBMs, but since submarines can handle that now, the U.S. can focus its big nukes on obliterating underground hardened nuclear shelters, the kind Kremlin officials would hide out in during an attack. From a U.S. perspective, submarine-launched nuclear missile capability has surged, but don't expect Russia to share the enthusiasm. Unlike the U.S., which can spot missile launches from space, Russia would have, Russia would have virtually no warning of an incoming missile besides its ground-based radar, which have limited range. Russian military and political leaders would have no situational awareness to help them assess whether an early warning radar indication of surprise attack is real or the result of a technical error, the scientists write. So Russian defenses officials would have less than 15 minutes to decide if an incoming object was legitimate, where it was coming from, and how they should respond. This places a whole lot of responsibility on the shoulders of Russian military officials. The combination of this lack of Russian situa situational awareness, dangerously short warning times, high readiness alert postures, and the increasing U.S. strike cap capacity has created a deeply destabilizing and dangerous strategic nuclear situation, argues the piece. Well, one thing's for sure. People who wrote the piece are anti-Russian, but what I'm more concerned about is that if what they're saying is correct, if America really has upgraded its nukes, as they're saying, then there's not a single country, there's not a single group of countries that could ever stand in the way of America. And if these weapons really are as upgraded as they say, they won't be built for Russia. It will be built for another country. Look which college is fighting to become a sanctuary campus. According to reports, dozens of students and staff at UCLA are urging the administration to become a sanctuary campus for illegal immigrants. Fox News reported a 15-point list of demands, demands for school chancellor Jean Block was read at the meeting as the attendees expressed objection to President Trump's promise to crack down on sanctuary cities. Sanctuary cities are important to drive out the Trump-Pence fascist regime. The fascist regime, that's fucking hilarious. Student Tala Deloria said, according to the school's Daily Bruin, according to the list of demands, the attendees plan to press block to shield records of undocumented students from ICE requests and urge them not to cooperate with federal authorities unless presented with a court order, KABC reported. Several people criticized Mayor Eric Garcetti 
for saying he would not classify Los Angeles as a sanctuary city. Look, let me get this straight. These fucking retards would keep <coughs> illegal aliens out of the custody of the ICE agents to prep them for deportation. So they'll allow the illegals to, to do as they wish and absorb social programs, including the educational system, while legal immigrants wait on the sidelines, legally and lawfully, to get a fair shot to come into America. And here comes these retards, who are actually defending criminals for whatever reason. Uh, it's, hard, it's really hard to wrap my head around it. All that is going to come to an end, though. Because what do these students have? They have no power. Think about it. Like, they're not even in part of the world yet. They haven't taken up the mantle to live their own life. So I do find it funny how they have a list of demands. They could take it and shove it up their ass. How's that? Huge early morning tweet from Trump. There's Trump going away. Tweeting all day long. We are making great progress with health care. Obama is imploding and will only get worse. Republicans coming together to get the job done. At real Donald Trump. 